Hi, people. So, oh, bright light in my eye. So I feel like I have been depriving you guys from videos because what I do and what I'm sure everybody else does is you make your video in pieces and then later on you're like, well, I recorded too many. Like I recorded five different videos. Now I got to piece them together and ugh, I just hate that. So right now I have probably about four videos that I would have to piece together and I'm not even going to post because I'm being lazy. So this next series of videos I'm going to do is going to show me putting pinky twist extensions over my locks. This first part I'm going to, um, I the this first part I'm just going to talk about <coughs> the hair and the steps that I'm going to take to do that. So, I am at my sixth month in, what's today, March 22nd, March, tw March 25th, so three days will be my sixth month. So, at three, every three months I'm going to do an apple cider vinegar rinse, so I'm going to start with that tonight, and I'm going to wash it, and to moisturize before I put in the extensions, I bought this Clean Helene Cholesterol with Ginseng Conditioning Cream because my I don't expect my hair to get too dry, but I am in Wisconsin and you know it started to get nice out. But today, the end of March, we're supposed to be getting snow. I heard I just heard today Minnesota got six inches, so it could be dry out. So who knows? But I am going to Jamaica the end of April, so stay tuned for videos on that. Um, moisturizing with this, I'm probably I'm not gonna do it too heavy, but instead of moisturizing the whole head, I'm actually going to take a little bit and moisturize each lock separately. I haven't decided if I'm gonna retwist yet, but that'll be in the next video. So the hair that I'm going to use. I will be doing an ombre effect with this hair. So the first, sorry, I should have this ready. The first hair that I'm going to use is this. I've never used this before, but I bought two, two different kinds of hair. And when I felt this hair, it is so soft like really soft and I did one um, practice twist just to see how it would work and it's really nice hair and the color that I'm using is it's called ombre um, 1b 3033 hope you can read that and then I bought for the ends, it's, I mean, it's already ombre. You can see it a little bit on here. But it goes from dark to light brown. So I bought this color brown, but I'm using this brand. I think. That's in a whole nother bag. Sorry, I'm not ready. Um, so yeah, I brought another color of 30 in that in this brand. And then in the back, the nice thing about doing your braids, doing braids over locks, is I know I'm not going to run out of hair because I know how many um, locks I have. So all I had to do was separate and count because I'm only going to put one per lock. So I have 70 pieces of hair that I'm going to use. And I feel like I'm talking too fast or I don't know. But I'm tired. But I will post the next video and that will be showing how to get the ombre effect and the color. You are going to end up with really long hair. So be prepared. 
And I've seen other people do videos where they use black hair and then they use blonde at the end. That's not ombre. Ombre is when you start dark and it gradually, beautifully flows to a lighter color. So that is all. I'm going to start with my hair, washing my hair. And I will see you in a couple, my, actually a lot of hours because I have a feeling I'm going to just take my time and get this looking really good. So I'll see you in the next video.